As more and more fine folks are picking up Tactics Ogre Reborn, I've received a multitude of questions about different aspects of the game. What classes should I use? How do I recruit new units? What equipment should I buy? Etc. Etc. One of the most frequent requests I've seen, however, is for a video covering buffs, debuffs, and status effects. In the interest of time, we're going to break up that topic, so today, we're going to talk about debuffs and status effects. Buffs will come in a later video. Hello everyone, my name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. It's been a wild few days for the channel, as I've mentioned before. Thank you all for all of the support. The new goal for the channel is to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. This was my original goal that I set as a New Year's resolution at the start of the year with the promise of a 24-hour live stream if I got there. I had given up hope on what was really a lofty goal to begin with, but maybe we can make that happen after all. In Tactics Ogre Reborn, debuffs are far more valuable than in many other RPGs, a fact that you'll quickly notice if you get hit by one. There are also a bevy of debuffs and status effects in the game that don't really get explained until you see them in action and may not line up with ones that you would recognize from other games. So, we're going to go through the ones you're most likely to see, what they do, and how to deal with them. First, we'll be talking about debuffs, and then we'll get into status effects. Debuffs are small bonuses that typically come attached to bigger abilities. On their own, they often don't have too large of an impact, with some exceptions, but taken together with other factors can make the difference against challenging foes. They fade over time, with few other ways, if any, to deal with them. In addition to abilities that inflict them, many debuffs can be purchased in the form of consumables that you can then use to apply them to the enemy, which often is well worth your time. We're going to run through these fast, as there are a lot of them, and they come from too many places to list. First off, we have Weaken, reduces the target's physical damage. Breached, reduces the target's physical defense. Spoil Heal, reduces the effect of healing magic cast by the unit. Spoil Spell, reduces the target's magical attack. Enfeebled, reduces a target's magical defense. False Strike, reduces melee accuracy. False Flight, reduces ranged accuracy. Stagger, reduces dodge against melee attacks. Misstep, reduces dodge against ranged attacks. Spell Slip reduces accuracy with ranged attacks. Frightened severely reduces the target's physical attack and defense. And Averse causes the target to take increased damage from the relevant element. Air Averse or Dark Averse, for example. There is an Averse for every element. Like I said, there's a bunch of these, and there's more than what I've named as well. However, those are far more rare and typically used against you by the enemy, so you'll be able to check what the effect is if you're targeted by it. Take note of Breached and Frightened in particular, as in Reborn, it seems that these are some of the stronger debuffs in the game, especially against bosses. More conclusive testing is required, of course, but initial reports do seem to be that your best bet is to try and get Breached or Frightened on as many units as possible to ease your way through the game. I can say from experience, Frightened in particular is an excellent status to put on things, especially with your Terra Knights who can hit it in an AoE, as it really does massively reduce the amount of damage you're going to take. Think of dragons hitting you for 90 as opposed to 12 when they have Frightened on them. It's a big difference. The various Averse effects are also noteworthy, as building a team that focuses around applying a particular Elemental Averse that the entire team can then take advantage of will net you a lot of bonus damage over the course of a fight. Now, with debuffs out of the way, let's move on to status effects. Status effects often, but not always, have a bigger effect on the battle than simple debuffs. Rather than being side effects of other abilities or cheap consumable items, they typically come from their own dedicated spells or as a major component of an otherwise damaging ability. Note that, like debuffs, most of these effects will fade over time, but there are also items and spells that you can use to remove many of them, and it is often in your best interest to do so as soon as possible. Let's start with Stuns and Paralysis. 
it's very likely that the first status effect you will see is stunned, courtesy of a wizard's paralytic wave. While stunned, a unit has a chance to lose any action they take other than movement, and the stunned status can last for quite a long time. It's not the end of the world to be afflicted with it, but it can get annoying very quickly, especially if it interrupts a very important bit of damage or healing right when you need it most. It's also one of the most prolific statuses being inflicted by wizards, ninjas, dragons, griffins, terror knights, and more. It can be cured by a Zeno wine or the Ease Divine spell, like most status effects. Next, we have Poison, which works as you would expect from most other RPGs, dealing damage each turn to any afflicted unit. In Tactics Ogre, estimations place it at a flat 10% of the target's max HP per turn, making it quite the effective ability against tanky units or units that just have a big health pool. Large monsters and dragons come to mind here. You'll most often see it cast by wizards and terror knights as Poison Cloud, and occasionally as a side effect of an Octopi's Poison Rain ability. It can be cured, of course, by a Maka Antidote or Ease. Moving on, we have Sleep, which again should function as you'd expect from many other games. When a unit is put to sleep, they fall to the ground and take a wee little nap, losing their turns and being able to take no actions. Any attacks made against these units will also be guaranteed to hit. This is particularly useful, again, against monsters and tanky frontliners who take a long time to kill, getting them out of the way so you can get to the squishy backline. Again, you'll most often see this cast by wizards and terror knights. Note that while you can use the dedicated Zolia Draft to remove sleep, it's better to save that for our next status ailment, as any damage that is dealt to a unit while they are sleeping will immediately awaken them. So, you know, just huck a rock at your friend's sleepy little head, and they'll get back in the fight. Might be a little mad at you afterwards, but eh, it's fine. Charm is our next status, and is one that many players are touting as one of the more useful in Reborn. Turning an enemy to your side, or your own units against you, Charm can lead to some big swings in battle depending on what the Charmed unit decides to do. Wizards and Fey both will use this, and while damage to the unit could break the Charm, you're much better off using a Zolia Draft or Ease for the guaranteed cure. Getting into slightly less common effects, we have Petrification. Petrification turns a unit to stone, denying them turns in a similar fashion to sleep. However, you can still deal damage to petrified units without breaking the effect. But take note, the damage of physical attacks in general will be massively reduced against petrified units. In terms of use cases, petrification is a great method to keep pesky guest units from getting themselves killed in battle or by removing a unit you want to recruit from the fight until you have the time and the chance to do so. It is cast by Wizards and Terror Knights in the form of Petroburst, and may also be inflicted by the abilities of the Cockatrice Beast unit. It can be cured by Garin Powder or Ease. Next up we have Silence, and interestingly, Silence is a rather rare ability in the early game of Tactics Ogre. As of Chapter 3, the only method of silencing that an enemy that I have seen is by attacking them with a weapon that has the status as a bonus effect, such as this forged plus one dirk. Silence, of course, prevents the casting of spells and also the use of recruitment skills and can be cured using an aluminum nectar. Next we have Stop, and Stop is another effect that should be familiar to fans of RPGs. Stop completely freezes a unit in time, and unlike some other similar effects that deny actions and movement, you can still deal full damage without breaking the effect. However, note that this effect as balancing seems to last for far less time than other abilities such as Petroburst or Sleep, so take that into consideration when choosing to use it. You will most often see it used by ninjas with their Shadowbind ability, and can be removed by a Farron Bolas, or again, Ease. Finally, we come to Hobble and Leaden. These effects hinder movement in more minor ways. Hobble reduces your move range by one, and Leaden prevents you from jumping higher than one space, and also prevents flight, which against certain units can be quite nice. These can also be removed by the Ease spell, or a Jarn's Poultice. Note that much like debuffs, there are many more status effects than what I have listed here in the game and there are more sources for the ones listed than I have mentioned as well. 
If you are afflicted by something, remember, you can always check what the effect is by inspecting the afflicted unit. And that is my guide for the most relevant debuffs and status effects that you will see in Tactics Ogre Reborn. Thank you to everyone who requested this as a topic. It's always good to know what the community wants to know when I'm planning my content. We will cover buffs and positive status effects soon, and that should be a shorter video. Generally, there are fewer of those effects. If you want to get early access to these guides, as well as the scripts for all my guides and new content, check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I have a few different tiers that might just suit your needs. At the end of the day, I hope you found this useful. If you have a particular topic or question that you would like me to address, please let me know in the comments below. Again, my name is Tom otherwise known as Titanium Legman. Have a good night, stay safe and healthy out there, and remember, be good to each other. Bye now.